What's up guys, Sharky Choshi here again, bringing you another battle from the June International Challenge. So hello, how are you? In this battle, I'm going to be bringing you a battle with a very interesting team. He is running a Mean Shao and a Malamar, which you don't really see that much play in the VGC meta, mostly because uh, Malamar is a very interesting Pokemon. Uh, it, In general, in theory, it should be extremely powerful, but it's not seeing a lot of play. I do not know why. Maybe because people don't understand it yet and mean shell is not really seeing that much play just because it's very frail but um it is a still it's still a very powerful pokemon with the ability to fake you out and do a, a ton of damage and uh just having the ability to come in and out so my opponent is also running a talaflame and a mega mawile to round up his lineup while my uh team i am not bringing my mega which is a mega venusaur i am bringing my lucario i mean lucario why am i thinking of, sorry i'm thinking about another battle i am bringing my rotom heat my salamis my uh zumro and last but not least my uh aegis slash to round up my lineup so let's go ahead and get started with the battle and see what happens so like i said malamar in theory should be a very powerful pokemon with its super power and uh it only being weak to i think bug and uh fairies but other than that malamar is a very powerful pokemon i might play test with it you know it seems like a very good pokemon and i don't know but anyway i am going to go ahead and lead with my salamis and my zoomerl while well, he's going to go ahead and lead with his uh talonflame and his uh mean shao this is very good for me because my salamis with the intimidate is going to wreck these two pokemon because they are both physical attackers i am going to go ahead and retrieve my uh, Salamis, because I know he's going to double up on it. I am going to go for the Protect onto my uh, Azumarill, predicting that he is going to go Fake Out. And yes, he did Fake Out that slot, and he's going to go ahead and U-turn that slot also. Uh, so, very good play by my part. He's not going to do any damage to me. Uh, the bad thing is that he is going to go ahead and switch out his... Uh, sa his <laughs> Sorry guys, he is going to go ahead and switch out his Talon Flame, uh, negating that uh, plus one, that minus one that I gave him. So he is going to go ahead and intimidate, which really does suck for my Azumarill, because my Azumarill needs as much attack as possible, in order for Azumarill to do as much damage as possible, because uh, it really doesn't have that much attack, and uh, with huge power, it just barely hits the limit of 200 attack. So uh, anyway, he is going to go ahead and Mega with his... Uh, Mawile, and this is very scary because my two Pokemon out on the field can't really do anything to these two Pokemon. So he is going to go ahead and go for the U-turn with his Mean Shao, more than likely uh, trying to get rid of that Intimidate. And uh, very two, good, two very good plays by my opponent part. Um, he is going to go ahead and bring in his Talonflame. I am going to go for the Substitute onto my Aegis Slash, hoping that he is going to go ahead and Sucker Punch. But he... Actually, no, not yet, because my Zoomworld's... Uh, surprisingly faster so i am gonna go for the play rough he is gonna go for the iron head onto my azumarill and my azumarill just survives it and uh god azumarill you're so you're pretty powerful so my sister's berry is gonna go ahead and proc uh, yeah, i am gonna go ahead and heal up with uh aegis slash and um i think next turn i go for the no i don't i don't go for a knock of jet i do retrieve my azumarill uh because he can brave burn me and kill me so uh, yeah, i am gonna go for the king shield here and uh bring in my rotom heat so he won't do any shenanigans, you know, any crazy plays like that. So he's going to go for the Brave Bird onto my Rotom Heat, which really does suck. He does predict it very well, and uh, he is going to go ahead and do pretty decent amount of damage to my Rotom Heat. He's going to hurt himself a little bit. I am going to go for, I think, the Thunderbolt uh, here. No, he goes for the Sucker Punch. It fails because he tried to hit my Aegis Slash slot, and I did go for the King Shield. So I am going to go ahead and heal up a little bit with my... Uh, with my Aegis Slash, he's going to go for the U-turn onto my, uh, uh, onto my Rotom. He's going to go, he's, he's going to hurt himself a little bit with the, uh, with the Life Orb. And I'm really happy to see, uh, Life Orb Talonflames because Banded Talonflames really do wreck my team. He is going to go ahead and bring in the Let Malamar. I am going to go for the Thunderbolt, do significant amount of damage to this Malamar. And, uh, actually I do crit it. Uh, I am going to go for the Stance Chain so I can, um, go ahead and, uh, Flash Cannon this, uh, this, um, this uh mawile so i am gonna go for the flash cannon do a lot of damage bring it down to one hp and it was a crit and i lowered special defense which yeah he is gonna go for the stone edge knock out my azumarill azumarill oh my god i'm pretty tired guys i'm sorry about that knock out my <laughs> my rotom and i really didn't see the stone edge coming from uh mawile you usually see rock slide so you can have that spread move but uh stone edge a very risky move 
did pay off in their favor and uh, very good move by my opponent's part so I am going to go ahead and bring in my Salamence so I can get the Intimidate off on these two Pokemon because they are both physical attackers and you guys see uh, Intimidation's really good here so his attack is actually going to raise uh, but uh, it really doesn't matter to me because I am faster I am going to go for the Dragon Pulse knock out that Malamar and um, uh, Salamence is going to become a very big very good pro very good Pokemon for this matchup because all his Pokemon that he brought are nothing but physical attackers. And I uh, am yeah, going to go for the Flash Cannon onto the Mawile, knocking out. And now it is 2-2-3 two, two, at this point. And my Aegislash is already very set up, almost full life. And um, it's going to be very hard for Mean Xiao and, uh, and uh, Pokemon like a very low... Uh, a very low talent flame to knock me out. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and bring in my Azumarill because I know that my Salamis is very important in this matchup. He is gonna go for the fake out onto my Azumarill, not do that much damage. He is gonna go for the Brave Bird on the onto that spot also because he knows the Salamis is a very huge priority target uh, against his team because he has nothing but a physical attackers and my Salamis is very fast and with the Intimidate can really screw over his team. So. Uh, Saki my Azumarill was a very good play right there. I am going to go for the Flash Cannon onto the Mean Chow so I can break any sashes it has. And um, I can use that for my Salamis to clean up the game because I know with the Intimidate he is not going to knock me out with the Brave Bird. And uh, he is going to end up knocking himself out. And I'm already really set up with my, with my Age of Slash that I don't really have to worry about anything. So the Intimidate is going to go off. Is going to go ahead and pretty much destroy these two Pokemon because they're both physical attackers. They don't have that much attack and uh, bringing them down to minus one is very very crippling to these two Pokemon. So as you guys can see there that if I didn't get the Intimidate off more than likely that Talonflame would have knocked me out but um, luckily enough I did get the Intimidate. I am going to go for the Dragon Pulse and end up winning the game. So a uh, very good game. Uh, I think the mistake my opponent made is bringing nothing but a physical attackers against uh, a Pokemon like Salamis. Uh, he was probably hoping that um, Mawile can take out that threat, and uh, I did bring Scrafty. I didn't bring. I did have Scrafty in my team, so uh, they probably thought that with the Mawile is just significant, uh, significant enough for uh, my opponent to win the game. So um, anyway, great game, um, and uh, I hope you guys liked the video. And until next time, guys, I'll see you guys later with more battle videos. Bye, guys.